Good day, folks. Today's project, we have a 240 John Deere skid steer with sticky pedals. Um, the right side pedal, this side, that does the rolling, rolling of the bucket back and forth. Uh, it would stick. You know, you push it one way and it just stick. Then you have to jam your toes or your heels on the other end to get the thing to come back. Um, so I dug into it a little bit and uh, talked to some people. They said, tear out the cylinder uh, in the back. You can see that shiny cylinder that I have pulled out. Now, don't do that first. I did it. Uh, that was the wrong step. They said there was uh, some buildup in the back maybe. That's holding the plunger, the the the, uh, the cylinder that goes back and forth. The, the I'm going to call it a plunger. Uh, which allows the hydraulic fluid to flow, you know, whichever way that you want it to. Well, they say that there's some gunk in there, which it probably could, uh, but that wasn't the case in this one, and I really wish I would have uh, looked at the pedal a little harder. Um, on the pedal itself, uh, there's a cap right there. This cap here, uh, focused on my finger now, looks like this, okay? Looks like this on that side but it's on that side. There's a roll pin that uh, shoots down through this roll pin here. Okay, that roll pin goes down through that hole, which holds it uh, on. So that way the pedal doesn't work off. Okay, so that is what that cap does. Uh, first, you will have to disconnect the uh, uh, connecting joint, I'm gonna call it. How's that, my technical terms. You'll have to disconnect the uh, joint off of the, crap, you're not gonna be able to see it, but off the plunger. Here, we'll see if we can see the other side. Mm -hmm. Nope, it's focusing on the wrong stuff. There we go. All right, see the top of the plunger is connected to that cap. There is a little cotter pin there. Take that cotter pin off. I'm not going to point to it because I'm going to lose the focus. Take the cotter pin off. It's it's a job for small hands. You got a little two-year-old that can hang on to something, jam their hand down in there and get it because a dude with a big hand doesn't fit. Uh, so this is my weapon of choices. I ended up needle nose and ended up cutting a dumb thing and pulling it with that. and It's fun. Uh, other than taking all the, you know, connections apart to get down in there. Because you can't. Anyhow, disconnect that from the plunger. Knock out that roll pin that is there. Take the cap off. And in this case, uh, I had to beat the, the pedal off. Uh, actually, I heated it up. I heated this section here up without burning the wires and catching the thing on fire. Heat this thing up. Uh, because it's it just got rusted up inside there and it wouldn't let the pedal the pedal uh, do what it's supposed to do it just wouldn't let it go so it heated it all up and then I had to beat the pedal out and look at here she just moves all over the place now so she's good to go but it definitely didn't do that five minutes ago uh, beat it out lube it all up real real good Work it around, spin it around, lube it up some more, put the cap back on. Why are we not focusing? There we are. Put the cap back on, pound the roll pin back in, connect the plunger back up, and you get yourself a, a, a better, newer pedal movement. That's it. Any other questions? Let me know. Cool. Peace.